Hello everybody, Beth Golden coming at you today. I'm actually coming at you today with the June Planner Society Kit by Scarlet Line. I originally had canceled my subscription to the, uh, the Planner Society uh, Kit because I just... I have so much stuff and it really hurt and I just couldn't stay away. So <laughs> right when I canceled, like literally a week later, I signed up again. Uh, I just couldn't stay away. And when it came, I was a little bit scared that I wouldn't know what to do with the kit. However, um, I found, I, I'm so happy with how this ended up. It took me a little bit of time to figure out what to do, but I am so excited about this. I actually made a, um, TN. I, di I didn't even have like a, uh, I didn't even cheat. Like I, I did it all by myself. I'm so, so excited about this. I did it for the month of August because in the month of August, I just wanted a monthly overview. I have another planner that it has my work and appointments in. So I just wanted a monthly overview. Then I wanted something where I could keep better track of what I'm spending. So I wanted a budget insert. And then I really wanted a meal plan and grocery list. So um, I could use the planner that I have, but I just thought for August that I didn't have a budget section in there and I didn't have the month overview. So I thought I'd try something new. So this is what I did. This is from, this is all the Planner Society. A couple, I think I used most of the kit up in here. Um, this is what I have left over. Not much. Um, really not much. I turned the, um, die cuts into stickers by running it through my Zion and a couple of the tabs I think like one die cut left and whatever these are and then um, this actually washi is not from this kit it's from another one however I have discovered that a lot of times once you start to get the kits a lot a lot of their kits go with each other so you can really pull in stuff and I did that too with this as well to fill it out but let me go ahead and show you and explain what I did first thing I did was I made the cover. So I took out my um, scoreboard and I folded it in half and then I did a fourth of an inch score here and a fourth of an inch score here. And it just gives it a nice seam. Then I took some elastic stitching. I believe it was called... I don't remember. I found it at the dollar store. It was a dollar. It has five colors on it. It's been sitting in my stash forever. And I'm like, oh, I can just put two holes here, thread it through to make four inserts, and there we go. So that's what I came up with first. And I knew that I wanted four inserts, and I'll show you what those are. But before I move on, uh, when I first did this, the top was cute, but it wasn't laying flat, so I wanted to put some weight on it. And I love the Lisa Kettle designs, uh, these two little pieces. And so I pulled those out and attached it with some beacon three in one on a little cute heart doily. And it's just darling and it is weighing itself down. So that's nice. So this is the top. These paper clips came with the kit. The other ones are from other kits that are little bows. So let's go ahead and look inside. So that's the cover sheet, one of a kind. And then I just put in this underneath all of the four bands that I have. And again, I came up with this pattern on my own. I, I know that there's a, probably a better way to do it, but this works for me. I wish that I had a big stapler that I could staple on the, all the inserts. It was funny because I was looking around for inserts and I couldn't find any that I liked online to download. And then I'm like, wait a minute. I can totally make my own. I have everything for it. So anyway, first thing I have is my monthly. And this is my monthly layout. This is what I wanted for August. I have another planner that I'm using for my design team requirements and my appointments. I just needed something which, with a month overview. These little stamps came with a kit this month. This August stamp is from another kit. From another planner society kit from previous die cuts and boom there we go so i can just write things down in here which is what i wanted and then i took just extra paper that i had cut it down just to add some fun texture and personality and dimension to it next thing is budget 
So I have August 1 through 5 here, all the way down to the last week in August. Boom, and then totals, because I needed something for budget. It wasn't in my planner that I have now, nor do I have an insert. So I needed to make one. And then we move on to meal plans. This is actually a pocket from another kit. I stuff scraps of paper in here as well as extra little um, clip arts from the kit in this pocket. This is from a previous kit. And then again, just another layer here. And then meal plan. And I made these out of just regular old notebook paper. Meals here, whenever I shop, I do it in categories. This saves me time and money. I'm not constantly going back and forth in the grocery store. I know it's silly, but it works for a family of five and five dogs. I'm able to get out of the store within about 50 minutes. So um, I usually write down the meal and then what cookbook and the page number out of this. And then I actually take these type of clips and clip my cookbook if I'm using one so I can find it easily. And then we have this is Girl Boss. Now, this actually is not paper from the kit. This is the bag that held the pattern paper. So it is a pocket. So if I have a list or anything, I can slip it up here. Receipts, anything like that will just go in this pocket. Turn it into an insert. I just uh, stuck this down here in the middle of it. Again, another pocket. And then last but not least, this page that I used to wrap around all of these. And then back here is another pocket. This is actually the bag that held the stickers, I think, in this kit. So this is what I did with the Planner Society kit. I really, really like it. I think it's going to be extremely useful. I like that I don't have to tear apart another um, journal or planner that I have. I just made it, and I feel like I got a lot of bang for my buck out of this and I just love it. It was so much fun. So anyway, please make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so because next month's kit, I have some ideas of what I'm going to do with it. I need to replace my address book. So I'm thinking that I might do something with that. And also I'm going to do it, set it up for September and I'm going to use my, um, my, this one, I'll show you my peacock color kit that I used before. I think it's going to match really well. I'm going to use this and because those are the colors that are kind of go with it. This is already set up. So I don't know if I'm going to tear it apart or if I'm just going to pull it out and put in the other thing. I'm not quite sure yet, but this is from a previous kit as well. So I have some ideas for next month's kit. They'll come to me more when it comes, but this to me was just an excellent lesson on if you stick to things that you truly love and you're passionate about, um, you'll always find a use for it. It'll always work out. I honestly didn't know what I was going to do with this kit when I saw it. I just knew that I loved it. And it ended up being this fabulous little notebook that is going to be totally useful and so sweet and cute. So if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do so. Feel free to share the video. And I always like positive feedback. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And I will try to answer them the best of my ability. And if I don't know, I'll try to get you an answer. So until next time, happy planning.